Tinibu mistakenly leaks the Chicago documents, exposes himself, his support has shocked. Hello people, welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. You know, there's absolutely nothing Tinibu has not really done to prove that he attended the Chicago State University. You know, when somebody actually, you know, uh, commits a crime, the person will hook up and pile up lies to actually, you know, uh, cover up what he did. And the more you lie, the more you keep on exposing uh, yourself. And he doesn't even know that the obedience in Nigeria are the smartest and the most intelligent set of human beings I've ever seen in the political history of any nation. And they shouldn't take us for granted because we kept quiet, because the youth and obedience kept quiet for, for, for a good number of years. Tidibu has been submitting fake evidences and fake documents and be using it to rule Lagos State. And apart from the other politicians have been doing it. But Tinibu will be a very good example for Nigeria. I'm going to show you how he himself released a, a document from Chicago State so that he can you know, tell the world that he, he, he went to that particular school without knowing that he is indicting and incriminating himself. I'm going to show you the document. You know, when he released this document, ah, Tinibu supporters, all of them started shouting and rejoicing that, ah, that Tinibu graduated from Chicago State University. To tell you, some people are so daft that they cannot even, you know, reason. Because Atiku Abubakar is trying to expose a whole lot of things, and it's going to be a global embarrassment. It's definitely going to be a global embarrassment. Now, let me tell you, without wasting your time, let me tell you what Tinibu did. You know, uh, very soon, the court at, at Chicago, you know, will give its final verdict because from the evidences that Atiku Abubakar submitted, the court will definitely rule in favor of Atiku Abubakar. And Tinibu knows this particular fact. That is why he is releasing some documents that, that they submitted since how many years or last year and all that. Now, recently, he submitted his transcript. He, 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 he released his transcript that was, you know, uh, retrieved from a, a, a federal court in Abuja, a, a federal high court in Abuja. And the funny thing is that when this transcript was released, Tinibu supporters started rejoicing and posting it everywhere on social media without even paying attention to the key information that was written on the transcript. Now look at this particular transcript you can see, you can see on the screen. And look at the part that was circled. From the part that was circled, you could see that the date of birth on this particular uh, 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 transcript is 03-2954, meaning 20, uh, March 29, 1954. Now, the owner of this particular document is was born on third, uh, on 29th March 1954, which is what the transcript said. And the name here is Bolatinibu. You know, the, 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 the bone of contention here is which of the Bolatinibu attended Chicago State University because this is a clear case of identity theft. Now, look at... The date that Nibu that we all know from Wikipedia and every other place that we know about Nibu, that Nibu was born on 29th March 1952. So how possible is it that we are having this age discrepancy? This is just the age of, you know, sometimes when you want to prove a point, you might incriminate yourself and expose yourself further. I was watching the Tinibu supporters, they were reposting this picture and this uh, transcript that Tinibu graduated with flying colors, that Pete Tobi and Atika Baka should, should, should show their transcript. Now, without paying key in, uh, attention to the owner of this particular transcript, now this is what Atika Baka is arguing in court. You, we cannot have a president who was born on 29th March 1952. And the transcript and every record this particular man has at Chicago State is reading 29th March 1954. And apart from that, this is just one. Apart from that, this part of, it, uh, 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 of this particular transcript, there is a part that has a female. That this particular transcript, transcript belongs to a female and not to, a, to, to the male president, or uh, the so-called male president we have in this particular country. Remember, apart from that, the owner of the transcript, not just this particular transcript, the uh, Dallas uh, uh, Chicago uh, transcript that, that people used to gain admission in the Chicago State University, is a female and is, the, the person is, is a black American citizen. So you could see the discrepancy. Sometimes they shot themselves on their own leg trying to prove a point trying to prove the point because they've seen that the Chicago court, there's no way the Chicago court, as a matter of fact, will not rule in favor of Atiku Abubakar. And this is going to be a global embarrassment because this is a clear case of identity theft. This is a clear case of identity theft. Tinibu swore under oath that he has never acquired the citizenship of any other country. Meanwhile, they see the people the that attended the Chicago claimed under oath that she is a black American citizen. The transcript indicated that this particular person is a female. Now, the transcript... That is, this is the transcript of the of the of the Bolatinibu that graduated from Chicago State University. Indicates, as a matter of fact, that, that this particular person was born on 29th March 1954. Against 
the so-called president's uh, date of birth, which is uh, 29 March 1952. So why is this particular man having a whole lot of discrepancies in virtually everything about him? All his everything, his gender is being questioned, his sex, his everything about him is, is being questioned to tell you that there is something that they are hiding. And I was so surprised that Tinubu supporters are not even paying attention. They are, they are thinking that this is more of a political uh, issue. You can't have somebody whose identity is unknown to rule you. You can't have somebody who has committed all sorts of forgery, identity theft uh, in, in Chicago to come and be the number one citizen of this particular country, all because of tribal and religious sentiments. And they were rejoicing. Instead of them to address the, the, the this particular pertinent key information here, that the, the, the date of birth on this particular transcript is entirely different from the date of birth we know about Balatini, and the date of birth is submitted to INEC, and his own date of birth that is on Wikipedia. This is a major concern. This is a, a major concern. And Tinibu knows for the fact that this is a clear case of identity theft. And it's going to become a global embarrassment because our obedience and Atuta Baka have even started writing to the uh, 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 lower chamber, that is the, the assembly in Chicago, to probe this particular university and probe the Bola Tinibu and to know truly how this particular man used all these incoherent and uh, all, all these inconsistent details to gain admission in a prestigious, in a prestigious institution like Chicago State University. It is not possible and it's not working. You could see how Tinibu supporters expose themselves. They shot themselves on the leg thinking that they want to embarrass uh, obedience or probably the well-meaning Nigerians that are seeking for the truth. The well-meaning Nigerians that are seeking for the truth, they were thinking that they are going to embarrass us or probably they are going to uh, uh, embarrass P2B. Some of them were asking that P2B and Article should present their transcript and look at Tinibu's transcript. Then the transcript you, you actually displayed for us has a different date of birth, meaning it doesn't even belong to the, your so-called president. There is a Bolatinibu that whose identity was actually stolen. And this is what Article Baka is trying to prove uh, in Chicago court. Instead of these people to come down to allow the court to decide for Chicago State University or the Chicago State or in Illinois to you know, uh, declare a full-blown investigation into this particular matter to understand what really transpired and who, they, and who is the actual Bolatinibu that we know. You know, very soon, FBI will release about 2,500 copies of criminal records of Bolatinibu starting from October. That is the time we actually know who is actually in that particular presidential position, whether it is the Tinibu we know or an imposter. I must tell you for the fact. Well, I would like you guys to drop your comments and tell me exactly what you think about this news that, we, that was flying and circulating without knowing that APC supporters have, and Bolatinibu supporters have shot themselves. They were, they were the ones that released this transcript and they were bragging with it without knowing that it, this, this will incriminate their master, being Bolamai Tinibu. Well, I would like you guys to drop your comments in the comment section. Like, always, subscribe to my channel.